Hi, on behalf of Infall Studio, I would like to welcome you today. For those of you who don't already know me, my name is Debanjan Mojumda and I am basically a product owner come business analyst and also a project manager in software domain. On this video, we would like to see how we write business requirement document. This is a document which is required while we are proposing any solution to our prospects. Now there are n numbers of ways of writing this business requirement document. Mainly a business analyst takes the ownership of writing this document but most of the cases what I found from my experience that they miss certain parts and certain sections of the document which are very important for the prospects. Let's give an example when we are going to talk or discuss for requirement gathering with the prospect not only we need to know the business we also need to know how they want to establish their organization through the online portal we need to know the online presence and why they need to come up with this architecture. Now I will go to my first slide which is basically contents in document. Before preparing a business requirement document we need to follow this guideline we need to know company information summary how company works clients requirement overview functional specifications non-functional specifications payment gateway integrations development milestones with the project management plan, cost of the project, company certifications, resource credentials and contact details. I will touch each of them in detail so that it becomes easy for you to understand. Now when I am talking about company information summary, company information summary means you need to know of the company or of the prospect business if company or the prospect for whom you are making a let's say you are making a e-commerce site for that company they must they might be having a retail house and they want to sell their products online and so they came up to you to give a solution and make their presence online now while I'm talking about company information summary then you need to write about your own company highlighting the domain on which you are sending this document this document can also be treated like a proposal document now Let's say I'm talking about an e-commerce website where you need to know that your company XYZ is established on such and such date and dealing with such and such products and such and such systems with all the organization's details. That's to be in very short and that script must be aligned 
with the prospects business area like if i'm talking about e-commerce then we must say we have dealt with around such and such time of products in e-commerce and we have worked on such and such technologies with such and such features integrations that needs to be highlighted and it must be very crisp we must not write a company information summary with two to three pages of document that will not go with it nobody is going to be very much interested of reading such and such document frankly speaking now as i mentioned how company works how company works means you need to give a snapshot it's better if you can give a schematic diagram of the structure of your organizations like you have to explain the process of system development life cycle i'm not talking about software i'm talking about the process development life cycle how from the pre sales who will be the you have to explain your escalation matrix as well okay to like if i'm talking from very layman term then if you are a salesman and dealing with a prospect then after initial stage of discussion it must go to the manager of the sales to discuss in detail and then it will go to the uh, tech leads or technical discussions and from there on it will set the ball rolling for further discussion phases and going through the process of system development life cycle or, uh, by this way it will be going on and then it will go to the production development life cycle now while i am talking about this life cycle here you have to mention the escalation matrix as well like if the person is not responding if the prospect has sent a mail or the client has sent a mail while the prospect becomes a client then he must be knowing if this person is not responding then whom should i escalate this matter and what is the business areas of escalations that needs to be highlighted that needs to be properly mentioned because these are the two parts by which we will initially gain the confidence for the prospect now we are slowly moving towards the phases of client's requirement overview client's requirement overview means the client's viewpoint and the objective of the system what he wants to achieve now if i am talking about giving an example of an e-commerce becomes easier for everybody to understand let's say client is willing to client might be having a garment shop and he is looking for an online presence of his garment shop and along with that in future he may move towards a marketplace by which others can also participate on his own website now you need to know what will be the business areas of handling it and while doing that you need to gather certain informations from the prospects and we all know the business requirement documents contains a series of questions and that will help to provide clarity around your project requirements and the level of complexity now it will also help for planning and estimating the features your requirement on your new website this is a very vital thing you need to estimate it and if there are any questions you are unsure of we can discuss this in more details with the follow up meetings now while making this document you need to get the confidence as i mentioned earlier so you also need to send some certain documents like visual designs catalog and products what needs to be handled how much customizations needs to be given to the client what will be the their third party integrations payment checkout process 
customers and how they want to market it whether they will go with you or not because there are certain uh, models of online marketing tools whether they will be aligned with you on that or not that can be treated like a what to say push up business you can say like means it's a it's something like when you are having a already projected running then you can give some add on services to gain some money from the client now if we if we talk about this then we have some defined templates needs to be followed like in the first page it will be like company name then uh, the owner owner of the documents name with the designation and the company name you need to know who will be the stakeholders or uh, who will be involved and you also need to know the stakeholder management and that needs to be defined here okay who will be the stakeholders who will take care of this business as a pseudo product owners like from the prospect somebody will be taking care of the finance somebody will be taking care of the technicality somebody will be taking care of the business area so we need to tap them we need to write their names along with their roles this will be in the first page of the document we have to make this privacy policy to safeguard our confident confidentiality of the document and then while making this client's requirement overview where we have to establish what are the functional specifications also on this functional specifications we need to gather certain informations from the business that what do you want to achieve with your new website then what are your direct competitors and what are they doing well and what is the differentiate you from your direct competitors these are the con- con- questions you need to hammer on the prospect so that you can ca- you get more more answers and you can think from their prospect and what are the challenges you like to overcome from your current site if if it's already a site which is running you want to revamp that site then you need to ask this question as well and what are you looking to launch your new website new features whatever you want to have and whether they want to have a content management system as well where from the back end they have to control their contents and they have to upload their uh, store products depending upon the availability stock management inventory management a lot of things may come down into the picture depending upon the business so you need to tap all those areas first to understand the business and while making an e-commerce site you also need to know the ui ui in the sense the user interface and while i'm talking about the user interface you need to know what are the specific areas of the aesthetic sense and the user experience can give from the design perspect so that look and feel will attract the customers of the prospect so what when the prospect is thinking of starting a business so he must be having certain in mind certain things in mind and being a business analyst or the coordinator who is dealing with the prospect you need to know you need to get the requirement how what are the some websites that inspires him because he must be dealt with many websites and he came up with some ideas and he want to establish that ideas and integrate that ideas within his own website that needs to be understood and you have to get some urls from him on that and and you need to know whether the banner needs to be designed by you or not whether the logo is there or not if there is a logo then they have to provide that logo the size needs to be mentioned by the technical persons and what are what will be the catalogs of the products and what will be the products and and 
there are many ways of showcasing the products top 5 products of the month top 5 products of the day flash products we are all accustomed with the websites of e-commerce so we can think on that prospect how we can see on other sites so if we can tally that things into our mind then we can think and we can tell them and we can show some websites to them which are leading websites on e-commerce and tell them that these are the sites by which they are maintaining that such and such things there are some specific heights in every website if you have seen you will find the specific length of header section is there in every leading e-commerce site every leading in e-commerce site you will find the same thing same header size so these are comes under user experience that needs to be handled and you also need to know how you are to plan and target the overseas market and which the and who will be your target audience first by because if you are not aligned with your business and if you are not knowing whom should you target you cannot run the business for longer run so that needs to be handled and is there any special considerations or variations we need to know about your products or pricing structures because you need to play with that and what will be your base transactional currency because that makes a huge impact while making a website because there will be a third party integrations of payment check checkout procedures where we have to integrate with paypal or some some other tool by which they are, we need to know whether they support that currency or not and since we already came up with the payment gateway integrations i will skip this non functional specification as of now i will come back later first let's discuss on the payment gateway integration now this payment gateway integration is basically uh, integration what payment methods do you accept like credit card bank transfer purchase order etc and are some of your payment methods dependent on the type of a customer or not that needs to be known and which payment gateway will you be using like paypal dps is new zealand's most popular and recommended gateway so you need to know which payment gateway you are looking for and how do you ship your customer orders that is a very vital thing because you can launch your website you can launch your e-commerce site but after few days you need to have a system customer support system and the logistics part which needs to be handled that needs to be addressed like how your shipping charges and carriers are using for both domestic and international shipping as applicable and how you are making it accountable and who is taking care of this logistical parts sometimes people is to give it to the third party I man after due course of time they want to make their own one so that becomes easier for to handle so this needs to be discussed get the answer first before making a brd document and if i'm talking about this parts then we have to discuss with other parts as well like third party integration what type of integrations you want to have like what integration between your online store and internal systems do you require are there any other fulfillment systems we need to be aware of because there are a lot of softwares running on your system might be many some desktop applications are running for accountable accounts and that needs to be whether that needs to be synced with your website or not whether your website will be in cloud uh, any any software which will be running in cloud so that synchronization needs to be known and we have to check whether that the platform which we am think which we are thinking will support that or not and how much customization is required depending upon the customization estimations of cost will come down into the picture So these are the areas which needs to be known you need to know the performance traffic and transactional volumes as well that that is basically an approximate estimations you need to do while making a proposal or the business recommend document 
like what are your traffic expectations for your website that needs to be handled what is the number of transactions you are expecting like x orders per day what what will your peak transaction volumes during campaign activity if possible like like any occasion if it's a government shop sale will be much more and how do you want to market it how much traffic will be hitting to your website so traffic maintenance needs to be done on that time there must be some specific performance expectations or requirements like performance metrics can be mentioned on this brd performance metrics from the quality quality div accept acceptance testing you may go with automations as well it all depends how much testing you are going to make who will be your main core testing team that needs to be defined in the resource credentiality now we have discussed overall what are the functionality needs to be known while we are making the business requirement document now let's come down with the non functional specifications non functional specifications are nothing like of a layman specifications that you need to use such and such browser you need to handle such and such system so these things needs to be mentioned there these are comes under the rules so that it becomes easier for handling the customer of while delivering the software because you have to mention certain thing that this system will be functioning on such and such system as well only now after discussions and all those stuff has been drafted on your business requirement document then you have to come down with the development milestones with project management plan and what does it mean now it development milestones means this is a very fictitious characters you can say like that development milestones depending upon the framework which you are using some products like follows the waterfall methodology some follow scrum agile mainly and so depending upon the structure how we want to accomplish your goal so depending upon that structure you have to make your project management plan ready and you have to move according to that i will come that in detail later then we will discuss about the cost of the project cost of the project also varies with the company to company they certain companies they have tools like uh, per hour we charge such and such okay by that you have to calculate how many of hours you are investing like project management may take 20% of the total effort let's say 20% of that effort 60% will be on the development it comprises of 80 and 10 20% you can take it for testing so it's already around 100 it's done so sometimes it, you can break it even different different parts all together like development can be divided into two parts or three parts so depends upon that like designing can be within the development phase now productions can be done by different ways so i will come up with that structure in my you just go and follow my videos you will find uh, that in future i'm i'm planning to make one document how production planning occurs and how we have to deal with that in in my upcoming videos you will find that yeah. now after you discuss all those things after you come come up with the budget and the estimations then if you are a prospect you have seen all those things in detail then the person will be more interested of knowing the company so instead of saying it earlier if you can say it later in a different style becomes easy to reach customer or the prospect there is company certifications what are the certificates you are holding with now he will feel more interest okay if i give this uh, 
projects to uh, develop this company can able to achieve it because they are having such and such certificates now we are already having this uh, resource credentialities resource credentialities means we have to establish what are the type of resources we are having and what are the expertizations of the product knowledge we are having with okay who will be dealing with your product what will be the uh, what will be the uh, his uh, credentialities how much of years of experiences he is having with how who will be the developers who will be the testers from your company become these are the basically confidence building approach and as i mentioned earlier the document is divided into two following sections like overview visual designs catalog products customizations third party integrations payment checkouts customer and marketing and multi marketing market requirements i have already mentioned this in detail but if you have willing to know in detail then please write your comment i will try to make some videos on this so that it becomes easier for you to handle and these are the questions i have already came up with what will be your direct competition or who will be you are dealing with that needs to be addressed what aspects of your current websites work well for you when are you looking to launch your new website these are the questionnaires needs to be asked as a form to the client or the prospect why i'm saying client as well as the prospect because you are not only dealing with the new person you can also deal with the present client he came up with some different projects different modules to integrate with so that's the reason why i'm using both the terms and it's always better to deal with a regular client because we already built some confidence because he has seen our work and now if i come up with this part called uh structure while developing i will not explain in detail but i can tell you this is a structure by which we follow the guideline of the scrum methodology is basically a product owner will explain what are the uh, what are the requirement and then the product owner will be having scrum master and a project manager and this scrum master and project manager have different different roles to play sometimes they can also merge together so i will not go in deep of that scrum master will handle what are the things are running and how they have to achieve and project manager will deal with the overall process overall business what needs to be done and product owner will take care of business along with the implementation part with the scrum master and project manager these are basically dependent role among these three product manager scrum master and project manager there are some different ideologies i also treat developers testers as a developer as well since there are many ways of many types of dev testers so developer developer and developer will be there and this along with the scrum master and the developer they will size the application while we have already got the project and we have to divide the modules in different parts which treated to be like a product backlog and this is this will be taking the ownership by the product owner and as per uh, scrum methodology user story definitions must be given by the developer what will be the user story so you have to divide the user stories you may you may find this is different in different different books but main idea ideology is to make the user stories much more better while grooming the system everybody needs to be a part of that system and they will come up with some user stories and while giving the user story ideas becomes easier for the person to take 
and get the knowledge of the system well so i always suggest to make the user stories by the developers itself and by that you have to give certain points i will not go in detail of the points there are many ways of giving the points you will find some figures like 13123215021 these are all units and there are some specific measurements and every companies have some different different measurement tools they follow that like i'm giving an example as a layman that one unit equals to one day or 5 to 7 hours of work 6 6.5 hours of work now if i'm giving one unit of work means 6.5 hours of work and if i'm giving two that two will be comparable with the one i have given is nothing like a two is a standard one okay so depending upon the complexities markings will be done and that markings is having a synchronization with the hours of calculations and the days of calculations and then we have to set up a different different sprints and that's the way it works i hope i have given a explanations of business requirement document how to make and how it works uh, i believe if you have i believe you have understood the things in detail if you have any questions please and please uh, give your comments i will try to answer each and each of them i love to answer rather and if you like the video please do subscribe us like us share us so that in future we can come up with some more ideas and also it will be make our confidence level higher and we will try to give more solutions i always try to give more solutions from the practical perspective which helps the professionals to grow more thank you so much and have a nice time and enjoy our channel thank you